Hi guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. I'm so excited. I woke up today and it feels like fall. Finally, the high is like 69 degrees. I have my sweatshirt on and I am ready to declutter. So I like to declutter one last time before winter hits just to make sure we're not going to be storing stuff we don't need. So I'm going to start off by a little speed clean to make sure everything's in its home. Then I'm going to declutter and then I'm going to organize any of the areas that we need to. And also I wanted to mention my husband and I started a new a vlog channel. It's called Ashley and Chase and we would love to have you head on over there and subscribe. It's all things that are not cleaning so it's a day in the lives it's finances it's garage selling shop with me all sorts of fun videos so make sure you're subscribed to that channel and this one as well and let's get to cleaning okay like I stated in the beginning I'm just gonna go ahead and do a speed clean so I'm just putting everything away in its home that's not in it um, any cups trash shoes whatever and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and then after that I'm gonna declutter um, as far as this room goes, there's not a ton for me to declutter because most of my items aren't in here. I have just about three drawers and you're going to see me go ahead and declutter like my pajama drawer, but all the rest is Chase's and I do not declutter for him. I let him do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I can in this room. Since I have a, my own beauty room, I really don't keep very many items here in my bedroom. I do keep a drawer for pajamas, I keep a drawer for like my swimsuits and workout gear, but other than that, everything is over on the other side of the house um, in my beauty room. So you're going to just see me go through and kind of pull out the t-shirts I'm not wearing or shorts. And then I'm going to start a bag in my living room and I like to pick a box or a bag or something to try to fill. So then it gives me a goal to try to find as much as I can because I don't want to stop until that bag is full. Now I'm gonna head back into my bedroom and another space I wanna work on is my nightstand drawer. Now as far as this goes, I really, I'm not gonna declutter, I'm gonna more organize. Chase is really sweet and he always leaves me a note every morning. It's like on a piece of a paper towel. He just tears off the square. Um, and as you can see, I have quite a few and then Savannah gave me this little treasure box that was hers and she tries to always keep them organized in there. Um, otherwise they get out of control. So I'm just cramming them in there. One day I'm gonna like, you know, put them or store them away in a special place but for right now I just cram them in there and then the few items in here that don't belong I'm gonna go ahead and put in their home so that I can find them when I need them and then you guys know if you've been around for a while I like to always finish up by vacuuming So I like empty walls and spaces, but this wall has been driving me crazy, you know, every time I film and Chase wants something on it. So I'm going to be doing like a little sprucing up of my bedroom soon. I'll be doing like a clean and decorate with me. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, and now I'm going to head into my beauty room and once again, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick speed clean. I don't like decluttering or going through anything until the room's picked up, otherwise I feel like I get, you know, a little overwhelmed or it gets a little chaotic. So that's why I always go in, kind of speed clean, and then I declutter and then if I need to organize, that's when I do it. Now 
Now I'm gonna quickly go through my closet. I'm not gonna lie, I did this a few weeks ago already, but I feel like you can always find something. And there are a few pieces in here I keep debating on to keep or get rid of because I haven't worn them in a while. But they're also just staples that I feel like it's nice to have. So you'll see me like pull stuff out, put it back in. Um, but if I'm really not wearing it, and if I think I'm not going to wear it, I just want to go ahead and get rid of it. I'm gonna head back into my beauty room but I'm gonna head into the bathroom I've been wanting to work on this space for so long um, as far as it goes here there's nothing that I'm gonna like donate from this cabinet but I do throw a lot of stuff away you can't really see from this angle sorry I didn't realize it was so close but the bottles that are empty or expired, I'm gonna go ahead and throw away and then I go ahead and just organize everything else in the bins. Um, I think things just look cleaner in the bins. You can see right now I'm thinking about displaying it right there, but I end up putting like my baskets back in because I just think it functions better that way. I'm your limbo, you're my intermission. Just look at the state we're in. I breathe you in and I can tell where I am. Okay, now I'm gonna work on this top drawer and this is basically everything I need to wash my face. So I keep separate um, washcloths in here because the stuff I use to wash my face at night typically will like bleach it out or kind of mess up the um, washcloth. So I use separate ones then, and then I have different ones over in the cabinet for when I actually take a shower. But they kind of got messed up. So I'm just like refolding the washcloths. I'm gonna put them in and in this drawer, I don't think I get rid of anything. I think there was a few things out of place that I'll take back into my beauty room. But basically I'm just organizing it a little better.
once I finish up the vacuuming, I'm gonna go ahead and head into my kitchen area now. I always like to push in my bar stools. I'm picking up George's toys. They are constantly all over my living room now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the dishes. So this is just like any other space, even though it's not a bedroom, I'm gonna go in and do my speed clean. So, you know, any of the dishes that need to be put into the dishwasher, if I need to go ahead and run it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the toaster away and then I'll start the decluttering process. Okay guys, this is like the worst area in my house. I never know what to do with it. A lot of you guys have suggested, because I don't use all of this daily, but I need it for when I'm like hosting different things. This is a hot mess, it's normally cleaner than this. Uh, but I need to work on this, and maybe the items that I just use for the holidays and different events, I'll put in um, like a different container underneath here. A lot of you guys have given me that suggestion. So I'm gonna try to just pull out the things I don't need, and then um, put in just the things I use like more often and then maybe have a section for things that I just need occasionally and I'll store that underneath. I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this part of today's video. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, and comedy. You can listen to audio on the go while shopping. I listen while I'm getting ready, taking a shower, while I'm cleaning. It has been so helpful. I'm not a big book reader, but I enjoy like learning that knowledge. And so being able to listen to audiobooks now has been a game changer. I've been listening to Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Stuff, that audiobook I tried reading the actual book once and I just couldn't get through it I just don't have a lot of time and that's not something I make time for so now I love when I'm in the shower when I'm doing my hair or makeup while I'm cleaning if I'm in the car I can actually just listen to the books I think it's an amazing service you can go to www.audible.com slash till vacuum do us part or you can text till vacuum do us part to 500 500 and start listening to it with a 30-day free trial trial, you get one free audiobook of your choice and two Audible originals absolutely free. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, I'll leave the link down below in my description box. And thanks again to Audible for sponsoring today's video.
Okay, as you can see, I'm just going through that entire drawer. I'm trying to find spaces for some of the things we use often. Um, I put everything back in that I feel like we're gonna use often. And then all of this stuff is basically stuff I don't either use often or it's only for like Thanksgiving or when we're hosting. And like I mentioned before, a lot of you guys gave me a great idea just to put it in a container and then put it away and then I can just pull it out during those times of the year. So first I thought I would put them in these like organizing bins, but I quickly learned that they don't have lids. So that's really not gonna work. So you're gonna see me kind of fiddle around. This is kind of what I do when I'm organizing. I'll just try different containers and different sizes until I figure out what works best. Now that I'm finished messing with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my living room and pick up this space. Those are puppy pee pads that you see me have right there. Um, if you're new, we recently got a new puppy and he's a golden doodle and he is so sweet and so playful and so calm sometimes, but we're still having accidents occasionally and of course it's on my new rug. <laughs> so we're just trying to keep those down. So if I'm working or doing something, I don't have to be on watch all the time, but during the day I just try to take them out really often. Now you can see that I'm just fluffing the pillows. These right here get smashed a lot. That's right where I sit and then Tiger likes to sit on top of them and look out so I feel like they get smushed down. So I just like to fluff them up. I like to fix my pillows just so everything looks nice and tidy. Now that I have both areas cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my vacuum and I'm gonna vacuum this rug and then put the chairs back and then I'm gonna go vacuum my rug in my living room. You're not gonna see me vacuum my hardwood floors until the end just because I use a different attachment um, for that. It's a softer one so it doesn't scratch my floors. So right now I'm just working on like all the carpet surfaces and then I'll do the hardwood floors later. So let's stay young and in love. We should focus on us. It's 
Then I decided that I was gonna go ahead and vacuum our sectional. Um, I just have been using my Dyson for this, then I don't have to change out as many attachments, and so I just leave this one on. I technically don't have to vacuum this. Both dogs don't really shed at all that much. I rarely see their fur, but I just like the lines. I feel like it makes the living room look so clean and crisp when all those lines are on there, so it's more just to make me happy than anything else. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the bathroom trashes. They need to be taken out anyways, but the reason that I'm taking just these two out right now, basically I'm gonna have to switch those trash cans. Um, George, my new puppy, has a thing for paper, like anything like toilet paper or paper towels, and we do keep paper towels in that bathroom since it's the guest bathroom. And if we forget to close the door, he is in there and he just shreds it everywhere. So I'm gonna try putting um, the trash can in there that has the lid. I don't think it'll take him too long to figure out. He can like push his nose in there and get it, but it'll buy me some time at least for now because it's Savannah's bathroom too. So she forgets to shut the door and I hate keeping it like up on the sink. Eventually I need to get a small one and maybe it could just go under the sink right there. But for now, this is what we're gonna try. Here I'm just heading into Savannah's room and I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit. It's not dirty, she picked it up some. You can tell she kind of made her bed, but I was just gonna make it a little bit better for her. Um, the days that I've been filming these cleaning videos, she's been gone, so that's why I've been going in there more and just picking up for her. She's really good and helps me out through the house, so I just like one day a week to help her, and so it works best on the day she's gone and I'm cleaning anyway, so that's why you see me picking up her room, but she does make her bed every day. She does keep her room clean. Um, um, she's very good and well mannered when it comes to stuff like that. I realize you're not the one for me. I wanted space, you wanted trouble. You hurt me once, the pain was double. Though you were more than just a hit and run, I should have known that you were not the one. Okay, now I'm done with her side of the house. With all honesty, we probably need to go through her closet and her drawers and her playroom, but she's not here and I just don't like to do that without her. As, same with Chase's closet, but I feel like he just went through it not too long ago. But I feel like I wanna completely fill up that bag that I've been filling up. So I'm gonna go through our kitchen island where I keep extra like home decor. I'm gonna go through our storage ottoman in here. And then I also have a storage ottoman in my beauty room that I forgot to go through. So I'm gonna see if there's just anything else that I can get rid of. I still remember those things you did. Yeah, they still linger, still hurt a bit. Might hurt forever, yeah, that's what they say. But I know I'll never will face that day. I wanted space, you wanted trouble. You hurt me once, the pain was double. Though you were more than just a hidden one, I should have known that you were not the one.
Okay guys, I'm so excited. I was able to fill up this huge tote bag um, and I'm not gonna lie, about two or three weeks ago, I've already taken a whole load to get rid of. So if I can declutter this house, I promise you anybody else can declutter. You've got stuff hanging out in your closets, in your drawers that you don't need, you no longer use. So definitely just get it out. Just even taking this small, it's not even that small, big bag full of items. I don't know, it just relieves so much noise in your head. So I highly suggest just start with one bag. Go grab one bag. If it's a Walmart bag, if it's a trash bag, if it's like a big black leaf bag, go get it, fill it up and get it out of your house and see how amazing it feels. Now I'm gonna finish up by cleaning. I've still gotta work on my floors. They are just horrible lately. I think it's with the two dogs just in and out and they're dark wood, so they show everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on those. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely hit the like button down below. It helps my channel out a ton and I always appreciate when you guys do that for me. And then don't forget about Audible. I'll have their link down below in my description box. It made cleaning go by so much faster today. I'm loving it so much and I'm gonna be using it more often. And then don't forget about our new channel. I'll have both of those in my end screen and make sure you're liked to both this channel, Till Vacuum Do Us Part, and our vlog channel that is Ashley and Chase and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!